Hi, I'm Ariana and I'm with Fresh Pair of Eyes. How are you guys? Hi, very good. How are you? Good. So both of your characters are very headstrong and um, very protective of their beliefs. Why is that even though it can be very dangerous to get go against the people in power? I I think with Robert, he he's um you know, he has a very kind of strong moral compass, but also, you know, doesn't really has no interest in in any of the politics and he become he kind of is this voice that sh that Elizabeth um Elizabeth can trust uh which was quite fun to um you know to to not not play a part in those kind of games what about you Ramala uh I think Mary was extremely religious I think that her Catholicism and the fact that she saw it as, um, you know, a, a, you know, betrayal of the true faith that her father divorced her mother and married Anne Boleyn and her, you know, desperate desire to kind of return the country to Catholicism is the kind of driving force behind her rebelliousness. I don't think she was by nature a rebellious character, um, but she was driven by this kind of deep and profound uh, need to avenge her father and you know restore what she thought of as the true faith yes and Ramala your character seems to have a connection with Pedro could you talk a bit more about their relationship yeah I think it was important for Anya to kind of presuppose the massive power shifts that happen later on in the Elizabethan age where we understand that like you know, Britain and Spain become the kind of great kind of competing power dynamics of the kind of golden age. Mary, obviously this happens much later in the story, marries into the Spanish uh, royal family in order to kind of cement the, the base of Catholicism, the power dynamic. And the introduction of Pedro as a character uh, played by Echo is, is the sort of beginning of that journey in that she um, forms an alliance with a, a mercenary, I suppose, a Spanish soldier for hire who comes partly out of loyalty to her, her faith to restore kind of Catholicism and partly because I think he had a great deal of individual respect for her as a person, which, you know, a lot of people who became her kind of her allies, essentially, when she did eventually have to kind of fight for the throne and take over uh, the throne from the kind of Protestants who wanted to, you know, uh, uh, you know, fill the power vacuum after Edward died, you know, he was part of that. And, and so they have this kind of close relationship based on their shared faith. And also, I think, you know, a mutual kind of liking for each other as well. For sure. And Jamie, it seems as if your character has kind of a special connection to Elizabeth. And as you were saying before, is one of the few people that can be honest with her. Could you speak mm -hmm. a bit more about their relationship and why um, he should be trusted? I think that because they are, they, they are kind of childhood friends, you know, and, and I think he, he, isn't afraid to tell her what he thinks. And, and I think a lot of people recognize, you know, her, her, you know, the, the potential in her in terms of, you know, self gain, and he's not looking for that. And this is a world that is all as new as it is for her. It's also new to him and he's figuring out who he is and slowly becoming a man and who his family are and their place in this, in this really dangerous world. So, um, so it's almost as if they kind of semi go on that journey together and he he guides her through it, but also is just figuring out what the hell's going on for him as well. For sure. And if you guys had to travel back into Elizabethan times, what would you miss most about modern times? God, firstly, I think I would die just so quickly. I think I'd say something stupid and then my head would be on the block like straight away. What would I miss? Peanut M&Ms. That's a very specific <laughs> answer. Is there a particular Can you imagine? color or just all yeah, of them? No, just all of them. Just all of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about you, Ramala? I mean, I think probably access to like 
I mean, it's a very boring answer, but I've had two children. So being able to have a baby in a sort of relatively sterile environment with like medical support is something oh I'm always thinking whenever I watch those shows, I'm like, I'm really glad I didn't have to have a baby <laughs> in the 1600s. It's my main thing, I think. <laughs> for sure. Well, thank you so much for talking to me. And thank best you. luck with this season and upcoming ones. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. Thank you. Bye.